Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We're zooming in and, and focusing in on a narcissistic manipulation tactic, and that is to constantly be the opposition. A narcissist or psychopathic individual will seduce, control, and manipulate others through being very oppositional, taking a very active stance about where they're coming from as opposed to and different and against you. So opposition means to be against. It means to be opposed to. So narcissists, based on their heightened sense of self, will automatically come off as if they are against you, as if they are opposed to you, as if you are guilty, as if you are less than, as if you have done something wrong. So you feel this discomfort, you feel this agitation, and you feel this energy that is want, wanting to suck you in, uh, making you uncomfortable, make, making you feel awkward, yet it has nothing to do with you. And that's because that is absolutely correct. It does have nothing to do with you. In fact, their oppositional stance is one that is interrogative, keeps you on the defensive, and furthermore, is not in your best interest. It does not serve you. To be opposed to is to be against. It is to be resistive to. So when you feel a tension around a narcissistic abuser, they will use this tension as a way to manipulate and control through force. It's a very sort of forced uh, experience with which they will manipulate and control others. And anytime real force is involved, it's different from power. When you're trying to force something, you're trying to make it go a specific way, and it is oftentimes against the very nature. When we talk about brute force, when we talk about lethal force, it is not really coming from an energetic power standpoint, it is from a force standpoint. And that is always going to create division, it is always going to create destruction. It is not about power, it is not about in, in, enlarging, which is what power is. Power is expansiveness, power is an emanating, power is a radiance, and it comes and it emanates out, and it furthermore in, encourages the interdependence and coming together of others where the sum equals more than the whole of the parts. That is the quantum energy field. That is energetic vibration, which is true power, and it's truly solution oriented, and it's truly what is higher, what we call higher frequency, higher elevation, and higher consciousness. And power does not operate, um, I'm sorry, force does not operate in that level. Force is, lo is looking to annihilate or bring down. It is trying to destroy. So it's very destructive. When you feel in the presence of something destructive, uncomfortable, be comfortable calling it what it is. Be comfortable asserting yourself. Be comfortable stating what you see to be clear, factual, and objective. So how would one become assertive in that situation? Well, you can say it's very clear that you have a sensitivity to this. It's very clear that this is where your standpoint is. It's very clear that this is very strong in your history. It's very clear that this is an issue for you. It's very clear that this is important to you. It's very clear that this is where, where you're coming from. It's very clear that this is what you're about. So you're validating their standpoint and you're making it clear that you understand it, but it doesn't mean you have to give in. You can use those words. It is very clear. It is very interesting. It is very apparent. It is very important to you. So you're able to assert where they're coming from, where their stance is when you're dealing. It's a way of being diplomatic. It's a way of coming together with an opposition where you are holding your ground, you're, but you're not giving in. You're not stating that you're less than. You're not re, uh, re, reflecting like opposition because if you are oppositional in nature to these types of individuals, you're entering into a conflict consciousness. You're going into the battle. You're entering into the battleground with ammunition, being defensive. And you don't want to add to the opposition by being oppositional, confrontational, combative. 
that that is not the diplomatic way of dealing with individuals and furthermore oftentimes these people want a fight they want a battle they want opposition however that is not what's going to serve you it oftentimes is meant to bring out the worst of you and furthermore create a a battle sort of atmosphere where they're wanting to get that as an out because chances are they're going to pull out some sort of card. They're going to pull out some sort of religious card, nationality card, where they get off the hook and they're making you look bad. It's a very manipulative tactic that narcissistic individuals will utilize in order to win the game, in order to be causing trouble. There there can be a lot of troublemaking, there can be a lot of drama, there can be a lot of chaos is a way to manipulate. Do not play the game. Do not fall prey. Do not fall for it. Do not take the invitation. Do not take the seduction to fall into these games. Um, politely decline. Politely deflect. Uh, be diplomatic. Acknowledge where they're coming from. Acknowledge that this is important to you. Acknowledge uh, that you see that this is where they're coming from. Acknowledge where they're coming from and just acknowledge. It doesn't mean you have to give in, but they do need to see that you, that you are you and that you deserve respect. Even if they're coming off manipulative, you deflect it by holding your ground, by acknowledging them, and not allowing them to victimize you or be a, as a tool for their opposition. You're not a counter energy, you're not a counter to their force because then if you react with force to their counter force, you just become a counter force and you become a supply to them. Politely decline, acknowledge um, with a head nod, a, a yes, okay, I understand, and politely deflect that back to them and reflect back that I see that that's important to you. I see that that's where you're coming from. Very interesting and be, be clear to state furthermore where you're coming from and what is important to you so that you're dealing diplomatically and you're asserting your values, your standpoint, your position and furthermore not getting seduced into their energy. Emanate and continue to emanate and radiate your positive energy. It's a very active energy and it's what we call energy work where you are using your energetic vibration within your body, within your personality, where you're emanating and you're radiating a positive energy. And this does not feel like tension. It does not feel like conflict. It does not feel like disease. It does not feel like victimization. A radiating energy is uh, a calling forth of radiant energy and you can call this white light but you can call forth this energy to emanate from your being and it's going to come from your solar plexus which is you know uh, right uh, below the navel your solar plexus and uh, call forth radiant energy now if you can call forth that radiant energy and allow it to fill up your body your your emotional being your physical being and it's going to circle through uh, the limbic center of your brain and is furthermore going to help you articulate and believe and have thought patterns that emanate along this radiant white light. And as you do that, you'll continue to reinforce this energetic cycle within your being, which is a very healthy vibration. It's a very healing vibration. It's a very healing energy. It's a very assertive energy. And it is a, a power and it's meant to protect you and as you create this in your energetic being and around your being it is uh, very immune to violation because you're emanating from this energy which is healing which is radiant which is positive which is assertive it's declaring yourself and your position and it's furthermore not conceding not giving into the energy of an abuser it is deflecting it back, allowing it to fall back to its source, and you're not, you're furthermore not absorbing this into your energetic body, your energetic field. You are embodying your energetic field, asserting it, and furthermore, through the assertion of that, you then will be attracting respect and the vibration of that instead of giving into the seduction of the negative toxic 
games, manipulation, and energetic vibration in playing that those individuals will seek to act on and allure people into. It is okay to emanate and it's okay to radiate from your self-value center. And that is how you protect yourself and shield yourself from the energy trap that the narcissist or psychopathic will seek to lure you into. Peace and harmony with you here today. I hope these videos do help. Please share and please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.